What's up? What's up? It's your boy 3CP. And yes, I'm going to do my NFL predictions now. This is going to be the playoff from now to the Super Bowl. I'm going to tell you what's what's the who's going to win, who I want to win. Well, y'all know who I want to win, but let's just get into it, man. We got four games on the schedule. Four games, and we're going to go through each one. And I'm going to tell you what's going to be the rundown here. So, first of all, we're just going to start with uh with Indianapolis and Kansas City. We're really, really close game. Really, really interesting game. Because Indianapolis has been on a tear since even beating us. And I thought maybe that win was a fluke. I mean, I was like, man, the Colts can't be that good. And then they beat on the uh, the Houston Texans the same way. I'm like, wow, this defense is for real. This offense, these guys are for real, though. So, after starting 1-5 and five or something like that, and they're going on and just, just dominating like this, like something changed with them. So, after seeing them beat Houston Texans, I can't take them lightly. But, you know, I like my boy Pat Mahomes. He's, he's from my town. And uh, the Chiefs, since losing – that that running back they got that got uh hunt whatever i never i still haven't seen that video like i have not seen the video of whatever he did so i don't even know how bad it was but without that being said pat is going to make his his uh he's going to do his thing he, they got to throw the ball tyreek here run the ball you know pat's going to i'm pretty sure with this defense it's going to be one of those games pat might throw one or two interceptions but the way this team has been playing, like, you want to score. And I see, like, this being a, maybe a high-scoring type of game because the Chiefs are going to have to keep scoring with the Colts, the way the Colts have been kind of playing. seems like they've been on it. They've been getting clicking. So, with that defense that the Colts have been playing good, I'm giving them – you know, people are giving Col- Indianapolis the edge now because the, the way they've been playing, but – I'm still pulling Kansas City out of this one. I'm taking Kansas City out of this one. Like a 34-21 type game or something. Uh, Andrew Luck's going to throw a pick. He, he's going to throw some type of big pick. And he's gonna, it's going gonna, uh, to cost the game pretty much. So that's what I'm predicting. That's what I'm saying. Now we're going to move on to the game that we all been waiting for, baby. At least me. My Cowboys. Against the Los Angeles Rams. Last time we played the Rams, they beat the hell out of us. Is that the one I remember? Be like twenty-eight to zero. Then it was the one game where they came back and won. Whatever it is, it's gonna be a revenge game. So I know that that loss is fresh in our on, my, on their minds. The the Rams haven't been playing great as of late, and they've been kind of getting exposed by a few teams. You know, the Saints beat them, and then they went out there and lost to the. Uh, was it the Buccaneers or somebody? Or they they have, they have been playing like the like the uh, when they, like the would have been number one seed for early in the season. The way they've been playing, and then Dallas is the defense. I had no faith in this defense coming into the season, but this guy Van Der Esch and everybody, the Jalen Smith, the these these guys. But I got to tell you one thing: I hate Jeff Heath. Jeff Heath. I don't know how they keep putting this guy back there at safety or free throw, whatever it is. That dude, Jeff, he's just, he is terrible. Like, why can't we get a safety? Please, this Earl Thomas, I know he, he hurt himself. And that's, that probably would have been the big move we would have made to get Earl Thomas. But Jeff, he has to go. Like, I don't understand how this guy's the only guy on the defense that just stays around. He, he, he has to go. But with that being said, the defense is just playing great. And... Dak just has to do his thing, run the ball, keep it, give feed Zeke. You know, before Zeke had the ball like 30 times last week, so you know, you feed Zeke, they stopped the number one rushing team. So, I know I'm kind of worried. Ty Gurley, he's he's a beast, he's a, he's a whole different animal from trying to from from the guys that Seattle had, Case and whatever. I know they had a, the number one rushing team, but Ty Gurley is a whole different thing. Because the Rams, the way they play, they, they run the same formation type, but they just do different things out of it. I was watching the game, and Tony Romo was 
analyzing it and telling and saying the same thing like they they run the same thing but they just do different things out of it they they run that single back uh like trips to the right receivers or whatever and they'll just run different stuff like you might see a reverse out of there you might see him do a play action that's the one thing i see a lot that little play action run like that so that's going to give us some trouble in early on in the in the, in the game i know but i know these guys will probably watch field moment the cowboys and the way the defense has been just holding these teams the lowest points i'm expecting like another lower scoring game here like a 21 17 type game with the cowboys winning this i think Dak doesn't have to throw the ball and air it out as much this defense for the rams have, they were starting out good but they haven't been that good as of late but that dude aaron donald is a beast though so we got to watch out for him but i think zeke can keep his doing his thing and running the ball so i'm gonna say we're gonna get the cowboys that one and i mean i know yeah, i'm a cowboys fan but i still think the cowboys can beat the rams and i think it was better that the eagles beat the saint beat the bears so he didn't have to go to to an angry saints team this week instead of having the weight to face that because like i'll stay with my prediction for that in a minute but let's go to new england and the los angeles chargers it's, it's it's I hate the Patriots and I know that if I know that the Patriots are probably going to come out with the win on this one. I'm just going to say it like I would rather the Chargers win. But the way is just, you know, Tom Brady and these Patriots, they just find ways to win. And uh, but Phillip Rivers and his team have been playing real good. You know, they 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 look like a good team to cause some trouble in the playoffs you know they did their first win you know we got the rookie during james out there balling and uh the defense is, is looking you know you got melvin gordon on offense and i think they, they should they have him back this week too i believe or was he hurt or something like that but you got melvin gordon keenan allen on offense and you know other guys that's role players is that's doing their thing but I just think the Patriots are probably gonna be just a little bit too much for them, but this game might this might be a good, good, good game. Like a, this might be a close one. This might be a close game, 28, 21, or something like that. But I'm gonna just say I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say the Patriots are gonna win it. I, even though I don't want them to win it, I'll be happy if they didn't win it. But I go with that. So then we go to New Orleans and Philadelphia. This is the same story we had last year. Nick Foles is comes in. Wentz gets hurt. Nick Foles comes in to the playoffs, plays great, and keeps them winning. So here he's undefeated in the playoffs. It, how who would have thought this guy Nick Foles is gonna is, just bring this team to the playoffs? Wins the Super Bowl with him last year. And if he does the same thing again, that's just, I don't know. I, that's why, I, But it's not going to happen. Because New Orleans, they know they got to play their best game here and just show everybody why they was the number one seed. Show everybody why they're the number one seed and just beat these beat the Eagles. Because, yeah, it, now – we could see a Dallas and Philadelphia uh, NFC Championship. I would love for it to be in Dallas. It would be great. But I don't trust the Eagles winning this game going to play Dallas. Like, I just don't. There's just something right wrong about it. Like, I don't want to see the Eagles again, especially not here in the playoffs. I know it would be home, but it's just something about this with Nick Foles in the playoffs. I don't know what the hell did he, did they turn their sliders on. It's like Madden or something. I don't know what it is. But – the Eagles got beat early in the season by the uh, by the uh, Saints, and I'm pretty. I, I don't. I think Nick Foles. I think his his magic is gonna run out this week. I think his magic runs out. Whatever he's been doing, it runs out this week, and they're probably going to see a a not. I think they're gonna. It's gonna be a, something like a. 35 40 to 16 type win for the Saints. like they're gonna probably beat them bad again and that's is i think that's what's gonna happen because you see what they did against the bears and they all oh, they barely barely won against the bears but 
Yeah, that's what we're showing. So that means New England and Kansas City going in the next round and Dallas and New Orleans in New Orleans for the conference championship. So start off. Let's just start off with Kansas City, New England. Great game. We always we all we saw it early in the season. High scoring game. Pat Mahomes couldn't get it. He almost came back and and beat them, but the Patriots were Ended up winning that game. I'm calling here, and I believe the Chiefs will win against the Patriots this time. They will win against the Patriots this time. It might still be a high-scoring game, which probably will be. And I think Pat Mahomes cuts down his interceptions on their game, and they end up beating the Chiefs, beating the Patriots to go to the Super Bowl. So, yes, I'm picking the Chiefs to go to the Super Bowl. So who am I picking them to win to uh to play against? Well, we're gonna play this New Orleans and Dallas. We seen what we did to to New Orleans. We seen what the Cowboys did to them last time. Low scoring game kept Drew Brees pretty much in check, and that was the whole story of that game. It's just they couldn't get nothing going. The defense for the Cowboys was just too much. So. With that being said, I'm going with Dallas again. It's just the defense. They've seen this team. They know what the Saints do. They they they've been shutting they've been pretty much doubting everybody wrong all season now. Since that Titans loss, everybody thought, oh, the season's over, Cowboys sub it, whatever, whatever. They've been just coming out performing every week now. Shutting down the number one rushing team last week. When the Saints came in to play them the last time, they played, oh, that's going to get blown out. Beat the Saints, and they couldn't even. Drew Brees had one of his worst offensive games ever. The whole Saints did. And this, I think it just continues from doing whatever they're going to do to the to the uh, Rams to here. And the Cowboys are going to win that. That means Cowboys, Chiefs, Super Bowl. Dacky P versus Pat Mahomes in Atlanta. What a great atmosphere. What a great game it will be. Hometown guy. A lot of people from my hometown, especially in White House, which is like 10 minutes away from like where I'm at. That's where he's from. That's where he went to school at in high schools. They're, they're going to be rooting for him. But I know everybody's capable. We're going to be like people rooting for him in East Texas because it's Pat Mahomes. He's from East Texas, and if y'all don't know the story about him in White House in high school, he's, I mean, a lot of people are going to, we won't be like you, Pat, but on the other hand, we've been Cowboys fans for years. And pretty much he's probably been a Cowboys fan. I think he was a Cowboys fan or something like that. But uh, that Super Bowl, two young quarterbacks, two young black quarterbacks too, wouldn't that, wouldn't that be great, huh? So, uh, and... I'm, I'm, I gotta give it this. Now the Chiefs could very well come out and beat the uh, Cowboys in a close game, but I think this mad. I think this is just that year. I think it's just something right about this Cowboys team is just they, they're, they're destined to do this, and I believe the Cowboys win the Super Bowl. Don't at me. Don't do nothing to me. And Chisel the Dunnis, he's gonna come out. We them boys. We won the Super Bowl. We got Zach. We got Z. I can't wait to see his memes. Like I, I only want to see the Cowboys. Sometimes I, I just want the Cowboys to get to the Super Bowl just for he can make those memes. Cause those are the funniest things ever. I be, mean, I'm telling you. And I'm a Cowboys fan, and those things are just so funny to me. I just want. I don't know what, what, what would he? It had to be something epic for him to do for a Super Bowl commentary. I like. This it, it 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 has to be epic, but uh, that's my predictions, y'all. That's my playoff predictions. So let me know what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? Did I get something wrong? Who do y'all think is gonna do it? And that's what we out.